Hey, good Wednesday morning. I'm meteorologist Pete Malone. This is your about 10 a.m. update on what's going on out in the tropics and very, very active as we're still somewhat in that peak of hurricane season, tracking at least five different uh, individual areas. Now, two of them have names and the other three are still tropical waves, but they are trying to organize some. And the main one we're going to be focusing on here in the United States over about the next seven to 10 days is Invest 98. And it may eventually get a name at some point, but it's still just called Invest 98. All right, a quick overview on what we're watching. Fiona, just by the way, is a cat four 130 mile per hour winds. Its next locations it's going to bring impacts to is Bermuda. That will be tomorrow night into Friday morning. And then it's actually going to be moving up towards the Nova Scotia area by Friday night into Saturday morning, impacting parts of Canada potentially as one of the strongest storms to ever hit that country. We're talking at least a tropical system like this. So bringing big, big impacts, including winds, waves, and of course, some rain. Now elsewhere, notice there are four other spots. Gaston formed yesterday. It's out in the Atlantic. It'll be near the Azores in the next five days as a weakening system. And then these two out in the Atlantic trying to organize. This one's still sitting off the continent of Africa. This one in the Atlantic, and they're both trying to organize. And then Invest 98 notice getting closer and closer to the Caribbean here. And it has the highest chance of becoming our next depression or name systems. But one or two of these out here might take it before this one. So we won't say which one will be Hermine just yet, but that is our next name on the list. Starting with an overview of what's going on with Invest 98. If you've been following it on satellite, it doesn't look very healthy. It's it's been battling quite a bit of northerly wind shear and partly thanks to the outflow from Fiona. Whenever hurricanes are uh, strong like Fiona, they have an intense uh, outflow in the upper levels. The hurricane is essentially breathing and all that outflow is being sent down from the north and it's pushing on Invest 98. So that's some of the shear it's had and it hasn't really organized much more in the past day or so. It's still fighting that shear. Now, as Fiona continues to lift to the north, as Invest 98 continues to slide west here into the Caribbean, the shear is going to start to subside. And if uh, most of this tropical wave can actually stay over the water here and not run completely into South America, it will have a chance to organize some, but with it running so close to land, that may limit the organization at least for the next couple of days. It does look like into the weekend. So into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, somewhere south of Jamaica, perhaps, or south of the islands of Hispaniola, and that's when it will be in a much better environment to organize. And just looking at ahead into early next week when it's in the Western Caribbean, the environment looks very, very healthy for a strengthening system and perhaps even a strong system. Also keep in mind the waters down here, they really haven't been touched this hurricane season. They're sitting, uh, they're really, really, really hot. Also not a ton of dry air that's surrounding the system. So a lot of the ingredients, ingredients look to come together towards the weekend and early next week for Invest 98 to become a bigger system. Now, when you look at our trends here with our models and keep in mind, we don't really have a center of circulation yet. So uh, whenever you have a weak, unorganized system like this, you could have big swings in your models and um, at least in the far term. Now, in the near term, this is through Sunday. We're fairly confident the wave is going to head basically due west and stay somewhere in the central uh, Caribbean here, south of the Dominican Republic, south of Puerto Rico. And in this time, we're pretty confident. Notice all of our models are are somewhat tightly clustered. It's when you get beyond Sunday. As you get into Sunday night, Monday, do you see how your models start to spread out and become less compact? That's when the turn to the north should start to happen. Now, the big question right now is when exactly does the turn happen and where does it happen? And those are just answers that we don't have at this point because the system is so unorganized. But uh, this is the trend we'll be watching as, yes, it moves west and then eventually we start to see it move to the north and could approach the southern Gulf of Mexico by around Tuesday or Wednesday. That's a rough timeline here, but that looks to be our rough timeline on um, when it could approach maybe the Yucatan as far east as the west as the Yucatan or as far east as Cuba. There's still a lot of spread and uncertainty here once again because we don't have a well-defined system and this is still about five to seven days from now. So why are we confident that it's eventually going to make that turn to the north? Well, it has to do with the upper level steering currents. And what's happening right now is there's really no troughing over uh, the northern parts of the Atlantic here. We've got a ridge of high pressure building in that'll build in behind Fiona. 
and that's steering this thing off towards the basically due west. Now, as we get into Monday, when it starts to make that turn, it's due to see this trough digging down this trough. It's also going to have a cool front with it, but this trough creates a weakness in this Atlantic Ridge, and that allows whatever Invest 898 may be to start to turn to the north. Now, the key to that turn is going to be the timing of the system, but also the timing of that trough. And those are just things that are still too far out. So we're waiting and watching, but that's why we're confident it's gonna make the turn at some point. It's just that exact time we can't nail down just yet. Then the big question becomes, well, if it's gonna make the turn to the north, where's it gonna get into the Gulf? And uh, once again, that's a fine detail we can't really get into at least precisely, but what we'll be watching is the timing of that trough and the timing of the storm. If that trough lingers a little bit longer, well then it could take this system and throw it right into Cuba or throw it into Florida and it stay in the eastern uh, Gulf of Mexico. That's with more of a slower trough, maybe a quicker and stronger hurricane. Now if that trough exits quickly, like you can see it, so watch it, it exit, exits. If it exits quick enough and Invest 98 is still somewhat, maybe not a strong hurricane, but uh, maybe star tropical storm or hurricane, it may not feel the complete tug of that trough and get further into the Gulf. So these two scenarios, obviously vastly different outcomes in the end, but uh, these are just those fine details. We need to wait a couple more days to really iron out. We'll probably have a pretty good idea by this weekend and by around Sunday into Monday. Uh, and that's when our confidence will grow. We'll probably have a well-defined system at that point, but also we'll be closer out in time here to when it could make that turn to the north up into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're still just in that wait and watch period, really the worst time or kind of just anxious. We're not really worried about it at this point, but uh, it does warrant watching, especially with the trends we're watching here with low wind shear, lots of moisture, hot sea surface temperatures, that will allow the storm to strengthen. And then the steering current pattern has that trough, which would pull anything down there in the Caribbean eventually towards the north. So we'll be watching it closely. Of course, you'll want to check back in. It's just still a ways out. We got time to watch it, but it definitely is something, uh, especially along the Gulf Coast region or Cuba and especially Florida, want to be tracking over the next seven days or so. That's going to do it for your tropical update. This is about 10 a.m. on Wednesday, September 21st. Thanks for joining me.